In today's video, we'll talk about various forms of renewable energy, some of which have been used for decades and have developed over that time, while others are still being researched and developed. The energy that is derived from natural sources and which is replenished faster than they are consumed is called renewable energy. A good example of such a source is the sun, the wind, or the water, which produces very low amounts of emissions. Renewables are now cheaper in most countries than fossil fuels and provide three times more jobs, according to a recent report. Fossil fuels, unlike renewable energy, are made up of non-renewable resources. They take millions of years to form, and when they are burned to produce energy, they release harmful gas emissions, such as carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases that are polluting our atmosphere. Solar energy is the most abundant form of renewable energy and is even capable of being harnessed in cloudy weather. Solar technologies are able to convert sunlight into electrical energy, either by converting it to solar electricity through photovoltaic panels or by focusing it on large parabolic mirrors that can be used as concentrated solar power. Although some countries are not as well endowed as others when it comes to solar energy, countries with a high number of natural resources, such as year-round daylight, high levels of ground radiation, or a low dependence on fossil fuel imports could have a huge potential for solar power. Solar energy systems are environmentally friendly and they don't produce air pollutants or greenhouse gases. Most solar panels have few environmental impacts beyond the manufacturing process. Wind energy harnesses the kinetic energy of moving air by using large land or offshore-based wind turbines. Wind energy is converted into mechanical energy through turbines, where the blades spin and it feeds back to an electric generator. Even if wind power has been used for decades, the technology of wind energy has evolved to maximize the electricity produced. Wind turbines today are taller with larger rotor diameters that produce more electricity than ever before. The global technical potential for wind energy exceeds the electricity production of the world. For example, on average wind speeds are faster in the northern hemisphere and slower in the southern hemisphere. One study estimates that there is potential for 2,000 terawatts of power to be generated by wind turbines worldwide. Hydroelectric power relies on fast-moving water in a large river or rapidly descending water from a high point to generate electricity. This is done by spinning the blades of a turbine, which converts the kinetic energy of flowing water into mechanical energy and then into electricity. The process is dependent on stable rainfall patterns and can be negatively impacted by climate-induced droughts or changes in the ecosystem that can impact these patterns. At present, hydropower is the largest source of clean and renewable electricity. Ocean energy is a renewable energy source that is powered by technologies that use the kinetic and thermal energy of seawater to produce electricity or heat. This energy can be harnessed in the form of waves, currents, water temperature variations, salinity variations, and differences in atmospheric pressure. One of the great benefits of tidal barrages is that they can continue to generate power without the need for freshwater which is often in short supply. However, there are some drawbacks to this approach. Approaches like tidal barrages may cause harm to the local wildlife in the area by disrupting the natural ecosystem. They work like dams and are typically located in an ocean bay or lagoon. Geothermal energy takes advantage of the Earth's natural thermal energy. This is accomplished by extracting heat from geothermal reservoirs by drilling deep wells or other means. 
A hydrothermal reservoir is a natural reservoir that is sufficiently hot and permeable without any artificial help, whereas an enhanced geothermal system is any other reservoir that has been improved to produce more heat with hydraulic stimulation. The electricity is generated by the fluids reaching the surface and has been used for more than a decade. Biomass comes from organic matter derived from plants, animals, and crops. It can be burned to release chemical energy as heat and to create electricity with the aid of a steam turbine. Biomass is often mistaken for renewable green fuel and an alternative to coal or other fossil fuels for producing electricity. But biomass is not free of its own environmental impacts, such as generating emissions of soot, sulfur dioxide, and nitrous oxide, much like fossil fuel-based power plants. Recent scientific studies have shown that many forms of biomass produce higher levels of carbon emissions than fossil fuels alongside negative consequences for biodiversity. There are, of course, some forms of biomass energy that may serve as a low-carbon option if used under the right circumstances, 